Uh, now introducing this critical study teaching on mind the gap will explain to you what it means mind the gap the gap of sin the gap of salvation mind the gap as we continue with our study god founded his kingdom in eternity he planned to build, to construct, put up, or elevate his heavenly eternal kingdom by extending it to earth. God foreknew he would create at some point in eternity, within eternity, a kingdom to be called God's kingdom on earth. When that moment came, God started to implement the plan. He began putting up on earth the kingdom of God, which he called the kingdom of man. God had this idea or feeling to build and launch the kingdom of man, the kingdom that would be established on the highest principles of God's word, his word and his love. God foresaw that the human being that he was going to create, that's mankind, whom he would give dominion over all the creation in his kingdom on earth would fall through sin. The fall of mankind through sin formed a gap within eternity that needed to be removed. God therefore sought and found a way to redeem this kingdom even before he went ahead to create and launch it. At the beginning of time, that is when all things began. There was no time before there was no time. In eternity, there is no time. Eternity is eternity all through. Eternity, there is no time. But when things began on earth, that is when time was created as well. And time has got a beginning. It has an end. So God officially launched his kingdom on earth at the beginning of time. And it is what we call the present age that we live in. The launch of this kingdom of man or God's kingdom on earth marked the beginning of time within eternity. Therefore, when we talk of time, time is only applicable on earth. In heaven, there is no time. Therefore, time that had a beginning would also come to an end in eternity, that is within eternity. So time was created within eternity, beginning and end. So a time, at some point, this so-called time will come to extinction. Mind the gun. Shalom.